All right, blood urea nitrogen or BUN. I always want you to refer to it as BUN because it is uh, does stand for blood urea nitrogen, and don't call it BUN. You're gonna you're you're gonna find uh, physicians or clinical instructors or other nurses that will uh, probably laugh at you a little bit if you call it BUN. So just refer to it as BUN. And our normal lab value for BUN is seven to twenty milligrams per deciliter. A lot of times, what we're gonna see here is we're gonna be looking at um, elevated levels okay and because what why we're looking at this is really looking for it uh, with renal function and if our kidneys are not working well we're going to actually see our BUN elevated okay above the 20 so that's kind of really what we're going to be looking at it for here and uh, the number or what you really need to keep in mind here is kind of your max which is be about 20. so what happens is in our body when we take in protein the protein will be broken down into ammonia. Okay, and ammonia is really the the byproduct of protein metabolism, okay? And then that ammonia within our liver is going to be converted into urea. And that urea is going to travel to the kidneys and then it's going to be excreted via the urine. And this is what's really happening if our body's functioning as it should, is we'll take protein in, protein is broken down into ammonia, ammonia is converted to urea, and this urea is really kind of the nitrogenous breakdown product of, of protein, okay? So that's why it's blood, urea, nitrogen. Uh, and that ammonia is going to be converted into the urea, which will then travel through the bloodstream to the kidneys and then be excreted via the urine. And so what we're really looking at here is we're looking at how well are the kidneys able to filter this blood, get all of this urea out, and then excrete it. Okay, so that's why we're really looking at uh, our kidney function with this lab value. Okay, it can also tell us a few things about our liver, but what we're really looking at here is really going to be renal. So again, the timeline I want you to kind of write down is going to be protein, ammonia, urea urine and then this is happening in the liver and this is happening in the kidneys okay and so that's really what I want you to keep in mind here is we're talking about two main organs here our liver and our kidneys and this is the process I want you to think about here because as you think about this there's gonna be a couple reasons why we're gonna see elevated levels right we might see elevated BUN if we take in too much protein. Let's, so let's manipulate this here. Let's say we, we increase our protein intake. Well, there's gonna be more ammonia converted to urea, which is gonna elevate our, our, uh, our, the, the urea within our, within our blood, okay? Let's say our liver is not working appropriately. Okay, so if our liver is not converting ammonia to urea, we could possibly see decreased levels there. Let's say our kidneys are not going to be able, be able to excrete. So let's say kidneys aren't working right. We're going to end up with more urea in our blood. Okay, so that's where you really need to look at, okay, protein, is protein able to be converted? If protein can't be converted, we're going to see lower urea. We might see higher ammonia, okay? If the liver is converting fine, but our kidneys are not able to excrete, then we're going to see more urea within our blood and that's going to elevate our BUN, right? So what really is going to happen here is, is we need to be looking at, we're looking at, okay, is the kidney, is the kidney functioning as it should? Okay. And if it's functioning as it should, it's going to be getting rid of this urea out of the urine. If it's not getting rid of that urea, we're actually going to see an elevated blood urea nitrogen. Okay. There's going to be more urea left over in the blood. All right. So that's really how I want you to think of this lab value. Hopefully, you know, if you can draw this diagram out and kind of look at where things are happening and what's happening and what organ it's happening in, this should help you be able to keep this straight as you're uh, thinking about what's going on. So let's say we have a, a patient with a, a uh, BUN of, let's say, 32, you know, really high BUN. What could possibly be going on? Okay, well, maybe we took in uh, extra protein or... What we're really looking at this for again remember is our kidneys maybe the kidneys aren't able to excrete that and that urea is not being filtered out in the glomerulus and it's staying within the blood system or the bloodstream 
And so we're going to have more of the urea within our blood. All right. So that's really what's happening here. Uh, and so let's talk about some of the reasons why we would see it increased again. As we talked about, we're going to see it increase with renal failure. Okay. We're going to see it increase with uh, excessive protein intake. Okay, so those are the big things that we talked about. Some other reasons we're going to see it uh, would be, you know, kidney disease, dehydration. Let's talk about why dehydration would cause that. Okay, so we, we if, if we're low on our volume, you know, we're going to have more particles showing up in our blood, and one of those particles is going to be urea. And so we're going to have a higher concentration of urea based on the fact that we have a lower volume of uh, a fluid. Okay. So that would cause our, our urea to be a little bit more elevated. Where on the opposite end, we're going to see a decreased urea if we have excess volume. Okay, so let's say we talked about this in a couple of the other lab values, but let's say we have uh, five particles of urea in our in our bloodstream, and let's say we have a hundred mils of, of of fluid. Okay, so it's going to be much more dilute. <clears throat> And so we're going to see a lower volume or a lower value for our urea, okay, in comparison to the total volume, okay. Now let's say we only have 25 mils of fluid. Well, we're going to see a much higher concentration of our urea if at our 25 mils of, of fluid versus our 100 mils. So this would be instances here, like where we have our overhydration, and this would be like our dehydration. So the concentration of the uh, urea is much higher when we have when we're dehydrated okay and then again here inadequate protein intake if we're not taking in protein then we aren't going to have the protein available you know in our system to to be converted into the urea all right so that's kind of how bun works if you have any questions just let us know